Welcome to the She Build Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Olson, a licensed general contractor who builds new construction, renovates, and designs your vision. Today, more than ever, we need raw, authentic women who are willing to rise above society's norms, break those glass ceilings, and encourage each other to boldly build the life we were meant to live. So honey, what are you building? Welcome to the She Build Show. Today I have one of my most favorite people probably in the entire world sitting here with me today. I'd like to introduce the one, the only, my daughter, Sonora Olson. Welcome to the show, Sonora. Hi. How old are you now? 11. 11 years old. What's it like to be 11? Mom, I turned 11 like... 10 days ago. I don't think it's even been that long, but what's it like to be 11? Like, I can recall turning 10 and thinking that was the coolest thing ever to be two digits. Like, I was nine, and then I turned 10, and now you're in fifth grade, and you're 11. What does it feel like? Can you, like, give me, what does it feel like compared to maybe being seven versus 11? Well, at seven, I was in second grade. Yeah. And I'm 11 and I'm fifth grade. Is there any difference? Like, do you feel the attitude coming on? Do Mom! You, <laughs> you feel. No! Any Mom. different? Mom! No? Describe to me what it's like to be 11. I miss. Like, you know, when you're my age, you just kind of like completely forget what it's like to be a kid. Do you have a care in the world? What do you, what matters to you most right now? How about that? My horse. Your horse? Yeah. And okay. you. I matter to yeah, you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What else matters to you? I think, like, playing your trombone. Is <laughs> that matter to yeah, you right now? Yeah, kind of. Okay. What about school? Does school matter to you? Yes. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is school to you? Well. Answer the question. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, how important is it to you? Like, I know that you want to do well in school. Eight and a half. An eight and a half? Okay. Yeah. All right. What about, can you answer, what is the most fun thing you've done in the last month? In the last month? Um, I have my idea of the most fun thing I think you should choose, but I'll let you answer. <laughs> I don't know. What? I can't. Oh my birthday. gosh, do you not recall the giant birthday party? Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> okay, tell the people what your birthday party was like. For... It was glow in the dark, and it was crazy. It was crazy. We had like 20 girls. We had a glow in the dark cake. A glow in the dark cake. We Mom bought you everything glow in the dark from Amazon. Tattoos. Like glow in the dark tattoos, glow in the dark. What are the things? The glow sticks. And we had, like, a huge pool party from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And I felt like I was experiencing, like, your college rager, like, at some point down the road. (laughs) I was like, OMG, what have I created? It was so weird having, like, a birthday party at night versus, like, all of your your other birthday parties were during, you know, the day. And it was, like, for me, it was a little bit difficult because it was, like, a transition of, like, my little girl and then, like, Man, we threw you a party, right? Yeah. Yeah. Raise the roof. What do you think is the most important thing I've ever taught you at this stage in life? What do you think? Or how about this? You don't have to answer that question if you don't know the answer. If you do know the answer, you don't know the answer. What is most important to you about treating other people? Like, how do you want to treat other people? What's important to you about that? Well to treat them kindly yeah do you feel like you treat people kindly yes is it important to you yeah okay what if somebody's not being treated well is there like do you feel like you stick up for them or are you like oh good luck with that i definitely stand up you do like in what way like give me an example say somebody's like picking on somebody else i would just like say like hey don't do that like you know it's important for you to feel like people that you're a good friend yeah yeah what else is maybe something that you think you've learned about yourself in the last year 
that I care about other people a lot. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like in what way? Like, like if somebody just like anybody, even somebody that like hasn't been nice to me in the past, mm. I help them. Like they do something. Yeah. So <laughs> like, like you something. have maybe your ability to forgive has grown. Yeah. That's good. I think that everybody deserves second and third and fourth and fifth chances, right? Because like we're just yeah. never perfect and you can't just write people off unless they've completely proven to you that maybe they shouldn't be in your life, right? Yeah. Tell me your most fun vacation we've ever been on. I like Disneyland. You did? I hate it Disneyland. Was, it wasn't like That's my nightmare. Fun. I mean, it was It was fun. fun. You know what the funnest fun. thing it was? It wasn't like was watching you on that ride. No, no, I hate that. That was awful. That was I hated hilarious. that. I they got the worst photo of me. It's classic. It's like your screaming, so terrifying scared. face. <laughs> what ride was that called? Like the ter- Dropbox. Terror Tower of Terror or something. No, it was the Gal the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, and it dropped you. Oh man, I think you were too little for that ride. I was seven. It was huge. He was like five and he was like this. He's totally fine. <laughs> I think it was the best picture of my life. I, I still like, I can see leg. it. I can see it in my mind. Like we're all laughing like and snore is like, <laughs> I wish they could see your face. Oh, that's funny. Okay. What is your favorite thing about our relationship? That we're both funny. <laughs> oh, our sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. We always have a good laugh, huh? You know what I feel like I've created? What? It's like... A mini you? Yes. Like, Papa and I are, like, super similar and, you know, funny. And, like, he makes me laugh and he has silly Papa jokes, right? Yeah, and he makes me laugh. And I think that, like, the epitome of, like, my sense of humor and what makes me laugh that you have and I feel like for the rest of our life we're going to be best friends just because (laughs) I'll just be able to look at you and be like that was hilarious and we like I'll always know that you'll laugh at my jokes I (laughs) I feel like we get each other Uh right you got me I got you okay what was you want what's something crazy you've done in the last week the last week yeah I know what I've done in the last week that was crazy. That put me out of my comfort zone for sure. Well, what have you morning, done? I rode my horse at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yes, it was pitched black. Yes, and you got up I and I didn't anything. help you. Well, barely. That is a little crazy. I don't think most 11 year olds would get up at that hour. Wait. And ride their so horse. So crazy in the last week. It's Monday, Mom. So. What do you think mine is? Do you remember? Oh. Do you remember mine? No. I went and took an adult hip hop class. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I feel I was terrified. And I think like doing terrifying things and putting yourself like out of your comfort zone is something you should always strive for in life. Like, yes, it scares me and I'm going to do it anyways. Like, I, I think that like fear should never be something that stops you. And I was terrified to go embarrass myself because I have not danced since before you were born, even though I did it my whole life. I went and I showed up in a room and there was 15 ladies and a teacher. And I was like, girl hasn't grooved in a long time. And I went out there and did it. And I was super proud of myself for doing something that I was terrified of doing. And so I'll always encourage you that even when you're scared, do it anyway. Right? Yeah. 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 You feel me on that? Yeah. Like it's super important because fear is the one thing that robs you of your dreams. Like you have a dream to do something in life. It will always be the thing that stops you. But you want to know how I view it? It's like the currency. Does that make sense? No. It's like you have a dream and the currency. Do you know what currency means? No. It's like money, right? Like dollars. It's what you have to pay for to get that thing. So in order to get your dream, you have to pay for the feeling of the fear. Does that make sense? So it's like, that's how you get there. There's no other way to get to the dream. You've got to pay for it and feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have you ever done anything in your life that you've had like get over the fear? I know. What? Do you remember when we, 
you did that horse show. Wait, which one? The one with Zoe. Not this last oh, one, yeah. but the one before that. Yeah, I didn't like that. Why didn't you like it? Because you were failing, right? Yes. Like, and I also think failure is part of the currency as well. Fear and failure are what you have to pay. It's part of the deal. If you want to get to the first place, if you want to achieve the dream of getting whatever it is that you want, fear and failure are something you that are going to show up. And you got to be like, here you go. Nice try, bro. I made it. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to do it anyways. Right? Thumbs up? Yeah. Cool. What's something else you want to talk about? I don't know. You don't know? Tell me one viewpoint or just something in your life that you think you've learned that is going to stick with you for the rest of your life. Probably like how to treat other people. Yeah? Like what about that? Just like... I don't know, treating other people like how you would want to be treated in a way. So even if you're upset with them, yeah. angry at them, that like they're still a, yeah. they're still human and they deserve yeah. kindness. I think it's hard, right? Especially. Especially with your siblings. Yes. But I really honestly think that like siblings and like spouses, like your Faja. <laughs> they're like those relationships are sent here on earth to teach us about ourselves like a, somebody once told me that a relationship like a sit like your brother is a mirror and they reflect everything you need to change Ooh. mic drop <laughs> <laughs> do you get what i'm saying like that's their purpose in life is to teach you and show you the things and show you your short fuses and show you the things that make you angry and show you the things that make you impatient and go, oh man, that's a glaring thing I gotta work on. Can you see it from that perspective rather than like, I'm angry with my brother? Maybe. Zips. Man, that might not help. It's a glaring reflection, ain't it? It's the thing, if you let the relationships, the close relationships in your life teach you, it will be the thing that helps you grow the most. Yeah? Can you look yeah. at your brother that way instead of like. Maybe. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's worthwhile and worth doing. What else would you like to tell the people of the She Builds Show world? I don't know. Has anything I've done, like with She Builds or like doing this show, does it make you feel empowered or like yeah. like you could do anything? Because that's my hope. Yeah. Like in what way? Like, like does anything make know. you feel like you yeah. can't do it? Or are you like, oh man, mom can do whatever. Yeah. Is there is there that like little tiny feeling yeah. in there? Really? Yeah. I've never asked you that. No. Do you feel that way? For yeah. reals? Yeah. Describe like, like you literally are in a business where that is like overpowered by men <laughs> and you're a woman doing like that's awesome. You think it's awesome? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cry. Don't cry, mom. <laughs> I think that's cool because if there's anybody that I could affect or help or encourage or empower, the most important person that I can ever do that for is you. Like, I want you to know that you can do whatever you want and I will support you. And like that, it doesn't matter what the industry is, where you want to go, that like if you have a dream and you can get through fear and failure, you can do it. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah, girl. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. Well, since you've talked so much. I know. <laughs> normally, she has lots to say. I think this is. Well, because like. Just you know, pretend like you're talking to me. You don't I have to. I am talking to you. I know, but don't think about the people. We're just having a little conversation. It's cool. Except you have your work for us. My work voice? Yeah, you have a work voice. I have a she show voice, right? Yeah, I Oh, like it sounds different than regular mommy? Yeah, it sounds different. Well, you're acting different. Well, because... Because it's different. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, mom? I don't. Well, I love you. I love you more. And I appreciate you, and I think you're incredible. And I just can't wait to see what you do with life. It's going to be awesome. Are you excited? I'm sure. Okay. And you know what's great also? What? Is that... Daddy doesn't have to have surgery this week, and we get to celebrate Halloween. And Halloween is our most favorite 
But you don't have your costume yet, Mom. I know, because there's been a lot going on. But I will knock it out of the that park. That is not an excuse. It's not? No. Like, COVID, our house flooding, your father getting surgery, other things just happened last week that oh, I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> Peggy is a little it's okay. We don't need to talk. We don't need to speak of such things. Mom. I will get a costume and it will be awesome. I promise. Okay. okay. Let's say happy Halloween on three. One, two, three. Happy Halloween from Stephanie and me. What's your Sonora. name? Sonora. Sonora. My little girl. Yeah. Thanks so much for listening to the She Build show. And for my little girl, Sonora, joining in. Say, see you next time. See you next time. And say, be sure to follow us and like us. Be sure to follow us and like us. And give us a five-star review. Mom, you're pushing. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for joining me today on the She Build Show. My name is Stephanie Olson. My hope is that this episode leaves you feeling empowered and ready to boldly take that step into building the life that you envision, one, two by four at a time. And if you can do me a quick favor, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes. I get giddy over reading the reviews each week, and I will choose one special person to win some SheBuild swag. Make sure you add your name to the review, and I'll reach out if you're the winner. Thanks again for hanging out. Be sure to visit me at thesheBuildshow.com where you can ask me questions and share with me what you're building.